I first saw Emo's work in 2007. It was his photography of the communes in Spain. And I loved the way he'd managed to shoot the people there. Something quite stylish about the way everybody looked so relaxed. We soon worked out that it worked much better for us to use real people instead of models. Imo contacted me about a shoot that he was doing which had a theme of Motown and he was looking for black vocalists. I knew that Imo had worked before with like boxers, prize fighters, bikers and basically like real people but I suppose nothing prepares you for an Imo shoot. I worked with Imo through the 70s desert period. At that time, we started to introduce narrative. Imo is a real master in bringing the stories and characters to life. He also knew the desert like nobody else and would take the crew to these remote locations, anything from military compounds to these rundown hippie communes. His pace was relentless. Everyone had to surrender to his anarchic vision of free love, spirituality, and extraterrestrial life. When it came to a close encounter, the lines between reality and fiction finally vanished. The characters of our story and the crew had entered into a state of total cosmic enlightenment. When we started to use actors for the Metropolis shoot, Imo gave each of the actors a character which they acted out. And that brought everything to life. Imo also brought in very traditional methods of lighting and set design for the shoot. When Imo started on the Metropolis book, I was one of the first actors he called in. He wanted to refer to the grand architectural visions expressed by Norman Bel Geddes or Ayn Rand's Fountainhead. The integrity of a man's creative work is of greater importance than any charitable endeavor. Those of you who do not understand this are the men who are destroying the world. When we shot the Rockabilly book, our mission in fashion cinematography was complete. Along with the set of film lighting, Imo had also hired the cast of the best Rockabilly musicians and actors from the scene. He really managed to capture the energy, the latent aggression of the Rockabilly era. Imo is a giant of photography. He is the reincarnation of rock and roll of the 20th century. I think Imo's interests are more outside of fashion and that's what makes his fashion photography more interesting. I guess you could quantify our encounter as one visionary mind meets another visionary mind. This guy is like the cockroach of fashion. He'll never go away. His name will live on in the history of fashion. <laughs>